Hey everyone, I'm Chantal and today I'm back at the field and I'm going to be working on my backhand form. So the plan for this video is going to be a little bit different than the sidearm video. I already know the issues that I'm having and I don't really focus on correcting them very often when I'm doing field work. I'm just trying to get distance. So right now I'm going to be really focusing in on the problems that I'm having and hopefully correcting these issues will help me get distance. So one of the issues that I've been having for a long time is my pull is it goes up, down, up and I just need to work on getting it straight and that will help get some more distance on my pole because when I'm doing this I'm losing so much distance and then my nose angle is upwards so that slows it down a lot. Another issue that I need to fix is how I hold my disc. Right now when I'm pulling through my hand is on the, uh, uh, the inside of the disc and it's not generating enough spin so I need to flex my forearm right here and get my hand on the outside of the disc so that when I release it gets a lot more spin on it. There's a dog coming. So the last thing that I want to fix is my weight transfer. Right now I'm not getting all my weight on my back leg before I pull through so I really want to focus on getting my weight back here and shifting at the right time because my timing is a little off too. So I think once I get the proper transfer of the weight, it's going to fix some of my timing issues and I'm going to get more power behind the disc. The first thing I'm going to start off with is how I hold the disc. So I'm going to be trying to hold it more on the outside of the disc, flexing my forearm, trying to get more spin. It feels really weird and I'm just sending them like upwards <laughs> but I'm gonna keep doing it until it feels normal. I'm not gonna show you every single shot but I'm gonna work on this for a while just to get the feel down and hopefully it starts feeling more natural to me. So now I'm going to be trying to focus on my weight transfer a little bit more. Uh, after focusing on this, you kind of forget what you're doing with the rest of your body. So I'm going to be trying to focus on the weight transfer. super flippy ballista but that one felt like I did it properly hopefully I did that feels way different than how I usually do it so I think I'm on to something So working on these two things actually, I feel like corrected my pull a lot. Like I think the reason why I'm doing this is because my timing is off and my weight shift wasn't working. So I think with the weight transfer and having my forearm flexed and having my hand on the outside of the disc, it's correcting my pull. So I don't even really have to 
focus on working on that by itself. So by all means, my form is not perfect. I don't really think that there is a perfect form out there. I think everyone's different and everyone's just trying to find what works for them. Uh, these are just a couple things that I've been working on to try and get more distance. This was actually filmed over a month ago and I feel like I've already changed a few things here and there. Chris and I are self-taught so when we first started playing we had no idea what we were doing. Um, but we've found a lot of help through uh, watching different YouTubers like Danny Disc Golf and um, just searching up uh, backhand form. So Will Schustrick has a lot of really good um, instructional videos. And uh, when I'm watching just any coverage, you can actually on YouTube, you can slow down uh, the playback speed and I do that a lot. <laughs> so when I'm watching someone and I'm like, wow, that looks like really great form, I'll I'll actually play it back slower so I can watch and observe what they're doing just so that I can kind of try and implement it into what I am doing with my form. So the next few clips are slow-mos of my form uh, from different angles and we're just putting them in so that they can be used for reference. I recommend having a lot of slow-mos of your form just to see how it changes over time. Okay, so that is it for this video. I'm glad you guys came along and I hope to see you in the next one.